turn on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. You don't speak for us. B2B has demonstrated the capacity to rescue Nigeria from its state of hopelessness. That's the coalition of full bed professionals in Africa responding to the statement of the Meiji Allah Kauto Horai. That's they are replying them. They said the statement credited to Al Haji Sa Al Hassan Saleh, who is the National Secretary of Meiji Allah Kauto Horai. They are they are distancing themselves from it. They are not part of it. That Meiji Allah they are speaking for themselves, not for the Fulani. That's what they said. They said they are speaking for themselves, not for them. They are not included. So Meiji Allah is on their own. That P2B has demonstrated the capacity to rescue Nigeria from its present state of hopelessness. He has the capacity, he has the ability, the capability, and the technicality, the intellectual capacity to lead Nigeria. That's what the group said. So, because uh, Al Hassan Saleh, that is the National Secretary of Meiji Allah, have said that they have directed the Fulanese not to vote for P2B. That P2B represents the interest of Biafra. That in his presidency, P2B's presidency, will not favor the Fulanese. So the Fulani should not vote for P2B. That P2B is ethnic bigot. That's what I said. He said P2B is ethnic bigot. Certain bigot. So, but they responded. And in their statement, I quote, they said, our attention has been drawn to a section of unpatriotic, ungodly, and senseless statement credited to one of our brothers, Al Haji Hassan Saleh, the National Secretary of Meiji Allah Kato Horai, the most controversial Fulani group in Nigeria, which no doubt is responsible for the bad name Fulani Nation has been brand branded with in Nigeria. The full, the full bear all over Nigeria will not be binded by that, by that politically sponsored statement of Meiji Allah anymore. The Fulani people are wise now and cannot be used as tools of extortion and religious sentiment anymore. We will enlighten our people to vote for competence and capacity come 2023. We will never vote for any candidate who has nothing to offer. We have gone far beyond religious and ethnic sentiments. We will vote for a president that will tackle poverty and acute hunger that have held our people hostage for, for so long. We will vote for a president that will fight Insecurity with every commitment and unbiased mind. No matter who is involved, this, the, our, our respected tribal group, Meti Allah, should channel their campaign to redeem the bad image they have created for Fulani people in Nigeria, rather than casting aspersions on P2B, who has demonstrated capacity to rescue Nigeria from the current hopelessness. We wish to also make it categorically clear that we have not endorsed P2B or any presidential candidate in the forthcoming general elections, and we are not P2B's smart piece, but it's wrong for our people to continue to brand P2B as a tribal bigot and that he doesn't like the not. The... So, we therefore call on our brothers in the Mieti Alakatu Hore to only speak for their group rather than misleading Nigerians that they are speaking for the entire Fulani people. Available data has shown P2B as an ardent nationalist that believes in the unity of Nigeria. So, the Fulani people, the Mieti Allah, lack the moral, spiritual, and religious rights to speak for the entire Fulani people in Nigeria, especially when they have reduced themselves to tribal bigots that has no regards for other tribes and threats. Nigerians have taken position in the forthcoming election to vote for the best man for the job and cannot be distracted by any selfish agenda and blackmail. As campaigns start, we shall mobilize and enlighten Fulani young and old to every rugas and town to sensitize our people so as not to be deceived by Mieti Allah, Kauta Hore, and it's like. End of quote. So, this is what they said in response of what the Mieti Allah, Kauta Hore, has said. This statement was signed by Mohamed Gidado. The national president and Hajiya Mairo Modibo, national secretary. So that is it. But that's what we're saying is this that P2B should be very careful because these people they have been there 
and these Fulani people, this community Allah, they say they are bringing bad name to the Fulani people, and they have been causing havoc, wreaking havoc, you know, in the entire North Central State, in the Benue, in Plateau, since year 2000. This Mehdi Allah, this hate man, they started causing trouble, killing people, forcing people out of their ancestral homes, attacking people in their homes, in Plateau State, the Just Crisis, year 2000, this thing started. Up until now, they are in the North Central State, you know, wreaking havoc, killing people, taking over their ancestral lands, claiming that it is their own, it is their birthright. That they are bound to rule. You see. And so they are trying to undermine others. So this uh, group, these full bear professionals, they have been there. They have not said anything. And now they are coming up. So Peter Obi should be very careful and his team. Because um, if you take these procedures, that's at your own peril. At your own peril, the Fulanese are like okra. It's so slippery, like the okra soup. I hope we call it okra. So it's slippery. You see what Buhari did in the APC presidential primaries. Uh, we, we, the report we, 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 that we gathered said that he informed or when um, this man from Imo State, the Minister for Education State, Malcolm Wajoba, informed him of his. Uh, um, for his ambition to contest for the presidency, Buhari asked him to continue, to go ahead, that he was for support him. In fact, from what we had, from all information, Buhari is the one that asked him to come out and vie that he will support him. It is turn of the southeast. Obwen Neon said, from what we had, Obwen Neon is also someone that Buhari said, go, I will support you. Buhari told Obwen Neon, go, I will support you. And he also told uh, Maju, but go, I will support you. Alas, what happened? It was stepping down Galo. I stepped down for Atiwaji Azuwaji Tinubu. I stepped down for Bat. I stepped down for Bat. I stepped down for Bat. All of them. What did Bahadur do? Why didn't do anything? So they have been betrayed them. They have been betrayed. So if you are eating with the devil, you have to eat use your long spoon to wine with the devil. To dine with the devil, go and get your long spoon. So, B2B, go and get your long spoon. So, if you are eating with the devil, you go and get your long spoon. Go and get your long spoon, B2B, so that these people will not catch you. They have come again. We are supporting you. B2B has the capacity. He does that and all this. My brother, this is the seat. This is the seat. If you're seeing the beauty on the wall, go and get in the logo. So, people should go and get in the logo. That's a, a long spoon to eat now. Because as our brother, we care for his 